who doesn't want another griffin? I want a griffin. Hello, Mother Mage here, and welcome to Pixark, where we have gotten our gargoyle back. I just got him back, leveled up a little bit. I have reached level uh, 35, I believe. No, 33. Okay. Oh, come on. I got stuck in a gargoyle. Great. Uh, but in any case, we can learn new things now. Which is good. So, we can learn all the way up to just before this. Which means nothing. Nothing there. So here, level 50, we can learn ballistas, ballista bolts, magic ballista bolts, got a large, a large crop plot, I don't know if I want to learn crop plots because I don't have a building yet, man to saddle, megalodon, ooh, megalodon saddle, circus saddle, carnotaur saddle, there's a lot of saddles here. Catapult, catapult, raw boulder, okay. Metal water reservoir. That looks nice. Train building platform. We can build some structures in this train with this platform. That seems nice. Might actually go back and try and learn the entire like train tracks bone armor learned the entire bone armor tree uh, iron spear, iron rod, this is more for just like beating things use it to defend yourself before you get a better weapon eh iron signpost, iron door, iron gate rather, it's a gate Iron spikes. And I'm gonna leave most of this unlearned because I want to learn some other things as well, like light bullets, stuff like. Ooh, what's this do? Because this is literally a small illuminated cube that can stick to any surface it touches. So it's basically like a torch, but that you shoot out of a gun. So you create the light gun. You create the light bullet and he shoot at places and it sticks and lights up the area. Fungal beast It's basically all we got. It's kinda underwhelming I must admit. I'm expecting a little bit more but just give me this just give me the ability to get the entire train cart and all the saddles if I see that I can build quite a large thing on the uh, buildable train platform, then I might actually build switch this entire base onto a train platform. Just like create a nice big pathway around this entire area and just make it drive in a circle the entire time. That could be interesting. Or if I see like uh, I'm, I'm moving a lot between say where I am now and the desert down southeast, then I could actually build a giant railway to over there, which would be interesting. Let's see here. I didn't really get that much extra, now did I? Weapon-wise, not really anything extra weapon-wise. Not magically orientated anyways. Tools, I still want this because it does say they're collecting resources and attacking enemies. Because if it's meant for attacking enemies, I definitely want it. What I could also do is, if I can get my firearm to fire these, which I very doubt it can, then I can make some bullets which have different effects, like fire sets them on fire, ice slows them down, and 
poison, does damage every time. But as you can see, it's different bullets altogether. This one is much more of like a rifle bullet skin. So I'm assuming it's going to be for a rifle. Which, if we go to industrial, level 55... Actually, level 55, I learn a grappling hook. That I want. Shotgun there. Level 57 is where I get the long neck, which is the first rifle, really. And here I can start getting, like, steel. But what I could do is go to here. I believe it should be here. Go to structures. Dinos. If you have me a hot storage picks block, that's not really useful for me right now. Ore detector, I know how to get the ores now. Firearm, firearm workbench. I could construct this. Need some clay and some wood. Not bad. Let's see here, here's the clay and there's wood. I'm gonna be constructing a few more things. It was under crafting. Craft this. Craft one, not four. One, only one. I don't need four. Who needs four? Definitely not me. Okay. So this, I don't know how to use this at all. Can I like put the gun in here? Enter enchant enchant modify. It is a firearm work work table. So how do I use it? Can't exactly put it in anywhere. So maybe it's just that my firearm is not. Oh, it's wrong around. Ah, that's fine. I'll just expand the base a little bit more in that direction. Uh, later. Right now I want to figure out what everything I have. Because uh, I have a lot of stuff. Armor wise, I have copper, fur, iron, springs, shields, and iron bone armor. Ooh, this requires polymer. Well, now I know what I use polymer for. Guess I better go try and get some more slime, or get some slimes. This is going to require primal bone pieces, polymer, leather, and iron. And that's seven armor. Eight armor for the main piece. Let me see here. Main, main chest piece gives seven. So it's only a minor one boost. Not really too good. Elevators, good. Wooden behemoth gate. That's a hundred wood and a hundred thatch, I believe. I suppose that could work. I could use that as like a trap for like big creatures like the griffin. Because I've, I've actually thought about a way of trapping them a bit more easily. So I've got to structures... Ooh, actually, blister and catapult. Glass. Actually, it's not here. Stone, behemoth gate, beast gate. This one. It's a bunch of stone, so I'm going to quickly go get some stone. It shouldn't take too long, because I do have like a little bit of mine here. And I do have iron tools, so should go quick. You can see sometimes it still leaves a mock behind. Don't know why I was doing that. And earlier today, well, like just before I started recording, my PC had a weird thing where it's it didn't detect DirectX. In though my PC was on since yesterday, I was playing games yesterday. My PC just would not detect the DirectX, so I had to restart it, which was weird. 
Let's go up to 100 stone because why not? We are down here. I should do it. Nope. And let's go make that uh, stone beast gate. Why am I going to go there? Structures, stone, 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 stone. So if you guys can hear voice outside, it's my family on the side. Oh, grab that. Okay. Uh, it might be a bit small. Mm. Might be a bit on the small side, I must admit. I see here. If I place this here, I can open it up. And it opens up into the cage then. Making so nothing can escape unless I essentially allow them to escape by opening up the door. So now I just gotta get up in order to just rebuild this top area. Because now that I've got an easier way in, I can just open up the uh, gate essentially let whatever I want in and then close the gate. That should help me capture any griffins in the future. Because I do you believe a griffin will be able to fly through here? If it can't, I might as well just build a large, uh, like a really large cage consisting of a like beast gate, uh, the behemoth beast gate. Which is quite a bit larger. I actually want to make one of them, but that will have to wait. I will need to do something about this base because this base is kind of kind of been irritating me for a while now. The way how it's just a flat surface is kind of irritating. Makes sense, right? Because it's just a flat box. I have to do something about that. There's only one way to do something about that, and that is to start doing it. Because otherwise I'm never going to start. Ooh, train building platform. It's going to require fiber. I don't know how big that is. I'm just going to... Stegosaurus. That's nice. Um, but I want to stone. I want to start expanding this. So Stone floors. 100-ish stone floors. So I'm not gonna be able to jump or move, or jump or, or like move very quickly while I'm crafting these. What I might do is add another layer on here, just so there's enough space for like a wall. And I can still access this from this end, and then I'll start making a few corridors and start expanding this. Or I could just build multiple buildings with a giant wall around them. Suppose that could also work. There is a bridge there, but I want to build like a nice big area. So what I might do is quickly run to over here and make another, say, building over here. Do you? I don't know. Maybe. Should I build like a giant castle structure, or should I build like a? bit more of a sort of just like multiple buildings like a large warehouse and then more just more things I'm not good with aesthetics what I'm going to do is just put a f enough space here for like a large tower on this corner Change the shape a little bit, just enough so that it doesn't like throw off the entire balance of the entire building. So I'm gonna build up there. I'm gonna build up a large wall. So I'm gonna bring out quite far, 
And then in these towers, I'm going to put a lift. Because why not? It's it's a tower. It requires a lift. This is going to be the main entrance hall area, so I suppose it could be remaining like this, and then I'll just like leave it so just like that. Like a corner entrance where I have like a beast gate or something like that. Yeah, that could work. Now I need walls, which I'm gonna need more stone for. Do I have more stone in here? 52, that's not enough. Ah, here we go, here's the rest. And stone. Stone walls. Gonna need a lot of stone walls. Even more than I needed stone floors. I'll start by just filling up the area behind my chests because yes that's a good idea first secure the chests then secure the rest I could just quickly mine out this area like so and then grab the stone flooring which I still have a ton of and then fill in this area. So this one is one, two, three, four. This one is one, two, three. So I need to put one more layer over here. And then start placing walls around. First, gonna start with like a one layer wall, and then I'm gonna start building my way up. From there, gonna try and make it as much multiple layers. Perhaps have the second layer being just plain old. Um, if I can speak correctly, if I can think while building, it's a bit of a problem. Thinking while building, I do not think about this. Gonna have to expand this one by one in destruction. Why do I constantly take out my pickaxe when I want to pick things up? This tower is not working out like I expected it to. Uh, fix it, I suppose. Gonna I need to do this. And there's a small hole there now good but it's not even now I'm gonna need to do it like this and then it will look a bit better a bit only a bit we're going to need a lot more stone if you guys still have not noticed I will need a lot more Gonna need about a couple thousand stone, but I'll mind that later. Right now, I just want to get the basic structure down, and then after I get the basic structure down, I can start building up the rest. And well, I'm never never gonna get hungry while I'm building because I'm constantly eating meat because I keep on pressing the wrong button. Let's start up here because this is where I start building up the second layer. So build it up nice and high. Okay. Well, it's looking a lot better. And I'm gonna turn this into multiple levels. A couple of towers, which are going to remain, which are gonna have an entrance on the bottom level perhaps the second level as well and then only go up to like the top level so this is the one problem that I have with this a lot of mining which I don't know how you guys feel about mining but this is what base construction is you mine a lot 
What I could do, well, one thing that I am doing with this is I'm waiting for another griffin to spawn in, because, yes, who doesn't want another griffin? I want a griffin. Sorry if you can hear people talking in the background. It's next door. Room next door. I still have not gotten my room more soundproof. It's a lot of copper. 28 copper. That's at least 28 more rounds for my pistol. And yes. Mine, 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 mine. Okay, this is getting too mindless. I need to grab the griffin and go check for a griffin. Grab the gargoyle and go check for a griffin. I'll grab the griffin and go check for a griffin. No, that's not, that's not how it works. It's just not how it works. The world doesn't work that way. Problem is we're gonna need a lot of stone for this. Especially at the size, even though I'm not using most of this, I want to make it nice and big, nice and spacious, so that I can f like put things further away, further apart from each other, just to make it seem a bit more you know, spacious and not feel like it's just a clump of stone. That is how you build structures in this game. Through excessive mining. Yes, this building a structure isn't the most uh, riveting content I know. This is the most exciting content in the world, but it's fun. If it wasn't for the base building, then uh, you would not need to worry about creatures because at the base building you would not have to defend against anything. Wait, what I should do is I should get one of these towers at least finished up. Then I can start constructing a ballista on top and see what type of arrows I can make for that. What do I require for ballistas? Defenses for the ballista. I'm gonna require 20 copper, 100 fiber, and 35 wood. Might actually make another gate on this side just so I can get out with the so like where I'm storing most of my creatures, most of my dinos. I suppose you can't really call them dinos, can you? Because they're not just dinos. I suppose that's why they call them creatures in this game. Because it's not just dinosaurs. If you say it's just dinosaurs, it's you've kinda got a problem. Because most of them are fantasy creatures. Okay, weight capacity. Up that weight capacity because you never know when you're gonna need more weight capacity. Which spring boots do I have on oh, that's iron spring boots? Damn it, I can't get over the wall. From the outside, I'm gonna need to make a tiny little gate right here. It's like a back door. So now that I have a back door, and I actually have the capabilities of crafting copper and f uh, fiber. Not, I grabbed the wrong thing. Fiber. I, I grab thatch, not fiber. I've got enough copper. It's good. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet whenever I'm searching for things. Just I need to focus my brain, otherwise I'm never gonna find it. Because it does not appear like this, the Triceratops has any fiber. Can he even get fiber? I'm trying to get the feeling no. And that's why I have this. Oh, come on, I wanted that. 
I'll have to damage my own creature. My own Spectre Wolf. Okay, that should be enough. It's enough fiber. Now what I should do is actually boost this tower to about twice or even three times its height. Defenses to start crafting that while I quickly go get some more stone. Riveting content. Mining stone just so I can build a tower just so I can put it on the correct height. But in any case, we will have a ballista soon. I don't know if I should put a ballista near where I'm like fighting the yeah, well trapping the stuff. Just so I can shoot them with a the ballista if I would actually want to kill them. Because uh, I, I don't know what type of ammo the blister has. Let me quickly go check that out. Industrial, no, not industrial. Metallurgy. Uh, blister just has basic bolt and magic bolt. Can increase the torpor of large magical m animals. So, this is how you tame large magical animals, like the ghost dragon and stuff like that. You're going to need a blister. So you're going to need to bring it back to your base where all of your dear pets are. And it's probably going to be, while, while it's munching on say your T-Rex or three T-Rexes, then you could like kill it or knock it out with a blister. Because you're going to need a T-Rex to tank out that thing. But I like how, how this game involves mining. The mining is like... It's mindless, but... It's quite fun, actually. When you think about it. Because you're mining. It's not like an arc where you're just punching stones. You're actually mining. Actually digging a hole in the ground.